Thanks for rolling up. Two up Mario, you certified pilot. Smoke, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm um. I'm significantly smoke, bro. Let's, uh, go ahead, jump in, bro. See what we got. See what we got. Uh, happening today, bro. Welcome back, everyone. So from binge drinking to smoking marijuana, one in eight teenagers admitted to using drugs last year. In the past four years, drug use among middle school students went up 61 percent. Nationwide, there were more than a thousand, a hundred thousand, excuse me, deaths related to overdoses just last year. Now an organization. Oh, no, real fast, bro. What are, you, what are you doing with this? What are you doing with this? Why are you why are you compiling all this information together and giving it giving it out like this? See from alcohol to marijuana, one hundred thousand deaths. Are you are you are you trying to say that that some of those one hundred thousand deaths was because of marijuana? Because we you know that's it right there, ain't true? What are you do you what are what are, what are you doing? is looking to help parents start these tough conversations with their kids. There's definitely been some peer pressure in school. 10th grader Molly Muggan has stayed strong, but she knows other kids in her school have not. And they felt like they couldn't live without it. From vaping. to drinking to popping pills. Molly's mom has been open about the dangers. It's an ongoing conversation. A new video game could kickstart the discussion. Pixel 10 Adventures is a free on- Hold on real quick, hold on real quick. We got to see this shit. What's this, what? What's this called? The dangers. It's an ongoing conversation. A new video game could kickstart the discussion. Pixel 10 Adventures is a free online game that provides teens real life scenarios. Will they use um, a classmate's ADHD medicine to focus better for their finals? Is that something that they're going to participate in? And how does that um, impact them? If a Hold on real fast. All right, we might, we might be having to play this game uh, on a stream or something. Um, uh, <sighs> They developed a game. Is, is this is this is this basically just a just say no game? Which I'm not I'm not against that. I'm not against that. We don't want kids we don't want kids smoking smoking weed, doing 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 drugs or some shit like that. Especially not when you know what I mean you got you got a development brain. So we not we not against that. Alright, let's 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 go. A young person um, under the age of thirteen begins using uh, a substance, there's a 70% chance that they will develop a substance use disorder sometime in their lifetime. When you do start discussing the... Sometime in their lifetime. You know how big that goddamn window is? You know how big that window is? Let's say, let's say, let's say somebody uses, uses, uses weed when they 13. 13 to 14. Then stops. Never uses weed again. Go through their whole life. End up at 55 and shit. And end up starting, I mean, on some bullshit. And start, start going, going down, the, down the crazy train. I would attribute the crazy train to whatever happened from 14 on versus his 13 to 14 smoking weed. Life comes at you hard, bro. I'm fast. The dangers. Be sure to keep your conversations age appropriate. For preschoolers, it's about making healthy choices. In elementary school, take advantage of teachable moments. When you see someone smoking in a movie, mention the dangers. By middle school, set rules. In high school, make sure your child knows you disapprove of using drugs or drinking alcohol. And stand by your rules. 
if your teen breaks them, enforce the consequences. Most importantly, continue to talk with your child about their choices. Kids do choose to like to go the right path and not take the drugs. That's 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 true. Not everybody wants to know what I mean be uh be in the crowd. I, I, I'll say I'll say this was not bad information. You want to be involved. You want to be present. You want to know what's going on. You know? Yeah, I, I haven't heard nothing bad from this. It's what we all hope for. So remember, when starting tough conversations, keep your tone even and calm. Also, teach your kids how to say no. The key age for having these talks, parents, is between 8 years old and 12 years old. They're old enough to understand and are more likely to pay attention at those ages. Hmm. All right. If you got a uh, eight to twelve year old, you want to teach them about uh, about drugs. Um, uh, there's a game called uh, Pixu Tents Adventures. Um, it'll teach them how to say no and 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 to be aware of uh situations where they can say no. So you know what I'm saying? Um, um, there you go. There you go, bro. There's a little bit of information for you. So you know what I mean, take that and do what you want with it.